Hi everybody, this is Zach Rosette. I went ahead and I made a small little bomb asset for you guys and you're welcome to use it. I'm gonna include the download link for you in the description of this video. However, I thought I'd also make a quick video showing you how I went, a, went about setting up this asset so you can get an idea. So first off, uh, let me just show you real fast what we've got. So I'll go ahead and press A. I'll just tap the screen. You can see the bomb flashes a little bit, then it starts flashing faster, and it has a fuse sound and an explosion sound, then it explodes into debris, and then there's a small little flame animation that goes with it too. And uh, there's an error right now, and it, it's definitely on one of the color animations. It has to do with the animated object not being defined, but I haven't really had any problems with it uh, before. I think it might be a little bit of a build box glitch. So let me go ahead now. If you don't wanna watch how I went about making this bomb asset, then feel free to just click the download link in the description below and you can, you can get access to it and you can use it for your games. But if you'd like to see how I went about constructing this bomb, then please go ahead and continue watching. So let me exit out of the preview. And this bomb was created with three different parts. It has has the, the original bomb body, it's got some in two different uh, debris types that it goes sending off. So let me go ahead and first let's go into the bomb itself. So I'm gonna scroll up here to the top and first we have our 3D model and our texture and I just got this model really really simply off of Turbo Squid, which is a, a site where you can get a lot of free 3D models and textures, and I just use the stock texture. I like this one. And what I'm going to do is next, I'm going to check out the jump. So we've got a jump node, and it's sent. It's set to uh, six and negative six when you when it first starts off. So when you touch the screen, it's going to go flying out. It's going to be spawned by this character right here. So I'm touching the screen, and then it spawns the bomb. And then as soon as it spawns, it jumps. It's like thrown. Then I've got a, a small little fire animation here that you can see that I'm just using as the at the end. And I made it like a light opacity so that it can work at the end of the bomb as like a, a fuse being lit and burning down. Next, this is the sound of the fuse being burned. And it plays for about four seconds. And then I use, I wait for that, those uh, four or five seconds. I have a delay here. And then at the end of this, uh, this sound, I have the bomb sound uh, take place. And that, and so as soon as the bomb sound happens and you can hear it, then the fuse sound's gonna stop and the bomb is going to be removed. The bomb's gonna be removed and it's gonna be replaced by the debris, the two debris explosions. And real fast, both of the debris are set up like this, or all of the debris is set up like this. It's got a randomized jump where it goes in 15 in the X, Y, and Z direction randomly. So it could be anywhere between negative 15 and positive 15. So it's kind of creates a lot of randomness. And then we've got a color animation, a simple color animation where the debris fades away. And then uh, let's go back to our bomb. And then the last little piece of the puzzle here for this trick is getting that flashing red color animation to go. So I used a state machine and I created two states, regular and hurry. And this right here, this regular flashing, I just do color animations right here where the target color, it goes, it goes up to 80% opacity in the, in the red. And then it goes back down here to white and it's 100% opacity. So what that does is that creates that flashing. You know, it goes flashing red and then it goes back to original its original color. Flashing red and back to its original color. And I have that happen four times quickly over a duration of 0.3 seconds each. So it's uh, 0.6 seconds total for the flash to go red and back. And I do that four times and at the end of the fourth flash, I switch the color animation, I switch states and I go to hurry mode, hurry flashing. And then I just do a flat, a same sort of flashing, but I do the duration as 0.1 instead of 0.3. So it ends up being 0.2 seconds instead of 0.6 seconds and I have no delay here. But in, in between these, I have like a half second delay. So it goes red off, red off. And this one, it just goes red off, red off, red off, red off, like super, super fast. Um, and then that creates a sense of urgency. 
And there you go. That's it. That's the bomb asset wrapped up for you guys. I thought it would be uh, just do a a simple explanation instead of going through the process of making it. If you have any questions though, please leave it in the comments below or if you know of any easier ways to go about doing the same thing or better ways to go about doing it or if you have an idea of why that uh, animated object error is showing up as undefined. So um, I know it's somewhere in the color animation uh, but I can't figure out why it's happening. Even if I put in the 3D model into the, even if I put in the 3D model name into the model name area it still shows up as undefined so I'm not really sure what's going on but it's not really a problem anyways I hope you enjoyed this video and keep an eye out for another tutorial coming soon